Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, a Kelowna youth treatment facility shut down by the provincial government after operating without a license is being sued by three families who say their children were mistreated and bullied at the facility. Nirvana, located in Gallagher's Canyon, was a residential facility for teenagers struggling with diagnosed psychological conditions, including depression and drug addiction. Now, a former resident and coach with the centre is speaking out against Nirvana's owners. Um, but I wanted to help youth. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's toted as a wonderful idea to help kind of younger people get back on their feet. It's, I mean, I have a psych degree. That's what I wanted to do. I was like, well, this could be my chance. But it was... It wasn't, it wasn't right. The lawyer for Nirvana Recovery and Wellness Centre and David and Susan Kenny could not be reached regarding Downs' accusations. None of these allegations have been proven in court. Two Peachland residents are homeless after a blaze ripped through their house. A woman was the only one home at the time and managed to escape safely along with her two pets after noticing flames coming from her garage. First arriving crews observed a heavy smoke and flame coming out of the garage of the structure. Um, by the time we arrived on scene, the fire had already spread um, into the attic area, the roof area of the main house. The couple is insured and the cause of the blaze is not yet known. Several days later, residents were rushed from a home in West Kelowna after flames sparked in their attic. The fire was contained to the attic, although there may be some smoke damage throughout the home. There has been no report of any injuries and the cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. Former Kelowna freelance reporter Taya McLaughlin is a free woman and headed back to Canada. The 25-year-old agreed to a plea agreement in a Kennewick courtroom this week. The plea did not include an admission of guilt. Under terms of the deal, McLaughlin must undergo counselling and has been placed on probation. She is also not to have any further contact with Jackson Playfair, a 19-year-old hockey player with the Tri-City Americans in the Western Hockey League. She was originally charged with threatening to kill Playfair last month, but pled not guilty. It's the first time it's happened in years, but this winter, those living in and visiting Penticton can wander out onto the frozen waters of Skaha Lake. Skaha Lake has freezes over probably every two or three years, not completely. Usually on the uh, Okanagan Falls side, it does tend to freeze up to about a half a kilometre from shore. For Penticton though, it takes quite a bit for it to go from shore to shore. Um, and I believe probably the last time that did that was about 15 years ago. Several days of below freezing temperatures caused the ice to form. However, we're headed into a warmer trend. So for those venturing out onto Skaha Lake, there is a warning from the city. They say, do so at your own risk. After the first week in Olympic competition, Canada is third in the medals. And several Okanagan athletes will compete in week two. Well, that's it for Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.